Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be doing a Playfair Cypher video tutorial where we're going to show you how to encrypt and decrypt using the Playfair method. So, here we go. The Playfair Cypher is a polygraphic substitution cipher that uses a 5x5 five by five by five grid to create a key grid for a keyword. So, the problem with this grid is obviously because it's 5x5, five five, there's only 25 spaces. But you need to put every single letter in the alphabet in that grid. And there's 26 letters. So, usually what people tend to do when using the Playfair cipher, they put I and J in the same space. So, we will also follow this. So, then we will be filling in all the 25 boxes. So, let's say our keyword is strawberry. The repeated letters would need to be removed so that the word will fit in the grid effectively. So if we remove every repeated letter, so we have straw here, and then we have B and E. But as you can see, we have these two R's, but we've already had R. So these two R's we get rid of. They're gone. After we do this, we are then left with this here, straw bay, or S-T-R-A-W-B-E-Y. And with this, we can now put this into the grid, uh, straw bay, and we put it in right at the start, and the letters that come afterwards are letters that haven't already appeared. So this grid shows that. So as you can see, you can see uh, straw bay right at the start here. So right on the top row, all across here, and then here. And then you can see that the rest of the letters are letters that haven't appeared in the word story. So obviously we have C, D, F, G, H. They just, as long as there's no repeats of letters that we've already put in, we should successfully come to this table where all 25 spaces have been taken up. So to get our message ready for encryption, we use the grid that we just created here. So, so if the message that we are trying to encrypt is meet you at the train station, the first thing we have to do is split this message into bits. But you need to note that two letters that are the same cannot be next to each other. So you have an example here. So meet would become ME, and then the next pair would be XE, so then the two E's would be separated. So that's how it works. The two letters, so the two E's, right here, cannot go together, even if they're in a different pair. It doesn't matter. They cannot be next to each other in any way, shape, or form, so if that comes the case, you need for an X thing. The same applies if, obviously, I don't know, you have... Uh, an odd number of letters. Now, luckily in this case we don't. We have an even amount of letters, so we should get a perfect pair. But if we don't, you need to print an X to ensure that there is a perfect pair throughout it. So once splitting into pairs, we get this. So we have ME, then we have XE as we have to split up the two E's. TY, OU, AT, once again, AT had to be separated. Because that is the point where it's at the train station. So we have at here. And then T would have been next to it, but as we already know, T, two of the same letters can't go together. So we have to put an exit between two T's to then continue the pairing. And then continue the rest of it, no problem at all. So now that we've completed splitting it into pairs, we have to move on to the encryption process, but you have to know how it works. So if both letters are in the same row, so if M and E, the first pair, are in the same row of the grid we created previously, then you replace them with the letter to the right. Okay? And if it's at the end of the row, then you go right back to the start and replace it with that letter. If both letters are in the same column, you replace them with the letter below them. Once again, same place. If it's the last letter, then you replace it with the letter right at the top of the column. And then if they're in neither of the same column or row, you need to imagine they're in a sort of square or rectangle 
and you have to replace them with the opposite corners. Now that may be quite hard to understand first, but I'll show you how we do it. Here's our grid. We have our grid here that we created previously. So here's the message that we created earlier, uh, split into pairs. So our first pairing is ME. Our first pairing ME. So we have M here and we have E here. So we think of the stages before. If they're in the same column, you replace them with the letter underneath them. So M is replaced with U and E is replaced with G. So the first pairing becomes UG. Then if we go on to XE, so XE, look for X, X is here and E is up here. So this is where I can show you how the square thing works I mentioned previously about the opposite chords. So basically, as mentioned before, you imagine a square. So this is your square because it's x in. Okay, so you replace them with the numbers of the opposite corners, the letters of the opposite corners. So the letter opposite to x is u, and the letter opposite to e is c. So you replace x and e with u and c, and it is that easy. So we just continue this process. So I'll show you an example of what you do when you have two on the same row. So let's say, uh, let's have a look here. We have A and T this pairing here. We have T here, A here. Remember, they said if you're on the same row, you replace them with the letters directly to the right. So to, to the right of A is W, and to the right of T is R. So that is W R. So we repeat this for each column, each square, wherever the letters are, and you eventually come to that right there. U G U C R E M X W R U A G Y R A C O L R R W A G P O. And that's it. You have encrypted your your message. Meet meet you at the train station with that right there. It's that simple. So now we're going to move on to the decryption. So the decryption is different, but it's still pretty basic. Basically, how you encrypted it, you do the complete opposite when you're decrypting a message. But you can't do it, obviously, without knowing the ciphertext, which we know. So when decrypting it, when they're on the same row, instead of replacing them with a the letter to the right, we replace it with a letter to the left. If they're on the same column, instead of replacing them with a the letter below them, we replace them with a the letter above them. And then, once again, we do the opposite corners thing with the squares, that doesn't change. That's the only part of the stages that doesn't change, that stays the same. So, process. So, let's look at our ciphertext. So we have, our first pairing is UG. Right? So, let's find U. U is here and G is right here. Now remember what it said, when you decrypt in, you replace it with a letter exactly above it. So that's M and E. So our first pairing decrypted is M E. Then we go on to U and C. So we have U and C. We create the square. Oh, sorry, that's a, not a very good square right there. Uh, we create the square that I mentioned previously right here. Go on to the opposite corners. So U becomes X and C becomes E. So, so far we have ME, XE, which is sounding very similar because we are successfully decrypting the message that we just encrypted ourselves. And then if we look at one on the same row again, so let's use the same example as last time. Let's use RA. On the same row, instead of replacing it to the left on the right, we replace the left on the left. So if R is here, we replace it with T. If A is here, we replace it with R. So that becomes T and R. So, and, and you just continue to do this same thing. It's just doing what we did previously, but going in the opposite directions. 
And then we come with the message that we just encrypted each of the train station with the extra access to which you were that parents go, okay. And that's it. You decrypted the message just like that. That's how easy a Playfair cipher is to do. It is quite easy to decrypt if you have the cipher text. That's the only problem with Playfair cipher. It is pretty easy to decrypt, so it's not the safest cipher in the world to use when it comes to encrypting a message. But it's still an effective way if they don't know the method, the method that you've used. So it's your turn now. I want you to have a go at encrypting a message using a Playfair cipher. So instead of the keyword being strawberry this time, I want you, I want you to use the keyword watermelon. Put that in a grid of its own, a five by five grid, and I want you to encrypt the message. Good luck encrypting this. You have four options there, one of them is the correct answer, 